Hey everybody, this is Garrett with Diary of a Family. We're intentionally living life with you. Today's video is all about how to get a permit to camp on Arizona State Trust land. Let's go ahead and jump right to the computer. Now I'm gonna show you how to get the required permit for your Arizona State Trust land experience. The quickest way to find out where to get this permit is to just Google search Arizona State Trust land permit. I will leave a link in the description so you can go directly to this website. It'll show you what you can and can't do on state trust land. You can apply for an individual permit, a family permit, a small group permit, or a large group permit. It'll give you the responsibilities and what you can and can't do with that permit. So you hit agree and pay. You'll tell what kind of group permit you are interested in. If you are traveling with a family, just select the family permit. And then it'll give the different options that you plan on doing while you're on trust land. So we hit camping and then we fill out all the information below. It'll take about five to 10 minutes, if that, to get your state trust land permit after you've paid the fee. You will have to have a physical permit in your RV and any vehicles that come camping with you. What do you do after you have the permit? How do you find trust land that will work for what you are interested in doing? We'll go to, to Google and then you put state trust land map, Arizona. And right up at the top, you'll say maps and GIS. Go ahead and click on that. And this will also be linked in the description so you can go right to there. So both of these links are available for you. Now, you'll want to click on Parcel Viewer and you'll be brought to the Phoenix area. We went to the Tucson area. Now, this map is much easier to use on a desktop computer as opposed to a mobile device. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the top left arrow key to get us zoomed in. And we had an area that we thought was interesting. I'm coming in and I see this little box that's kind of at an angle and it says Sarita District Park. That's kind of an interesting landmark. And landmarks are something that are really, really helpful for us to find state trust land because we can coordinate maps between Google Maps, which is a great resource to look at a like a satellite view of the area we're interested in camping at and we can line it up with what you see here. So let's go jump over to Google Maps now and we're at Tucson. I'm gonna zoom in to the Sarita area cause that's where we were interested in camping. Come down here and look at that. There is that area that has that, it looks like an abandoned runway or I don't know what that is, but it matches what you see on this map. So now we have two reference points that are easy to use. Let's see what is down here, just below where this angled park is. I see a Alver something down here, and I'm gonna go over here and I see Alvernon Way. I'm gonna look at this block right here. There doesn't seem to be any kind of housing, there's no farms. There doesn't look to be any ranches over here. I'm gonna go back to the trust land and I'm gonna click on this. It says it's unleased and it is an X abandoned Sarita flight strip. Okay, so that was a flight strip, so that's pretty cool. Well, let's look on Google Maps again and see if we can find any areas that might work. This area right here looks interesting. There's a road going into it, and then it kind of branches off, but I'm looking at this area just right in the middle of the screen here. There doesn't seem to be a large concentration of trees. That's good. And it looks fairly easy and straight from the road to get into. This might work for us. So this is how you find a place that you can camp at. What happens if you are interested and you find a place, but you can't camp there? Well, let's go back out and I'll show you some of the areas that you probably shouldn't camp at. There's a big one. This whole area is in red. I wonder what that is. It is leased and it is leased to the University of Arizona. Let's go up there and look at one of their signs. So this whole area is a research area for University of Arizona. It's beautiful. 
You really don't want to be camping out here because it is a research area. I see another little spot that has a couple grayed out areas. Oh, Arizona Department of Corrections. Well, I don't think we're going to camp there anytime soon. The other thing to be mindful of is if there is no color designation in any way on this map, then most likely it's not an area to camp in. So right here you can see the Tucson Airport. This area here is an Indian reservation. Last thing that you can do to make sure that you have a decent area where you can camp is to just call the Arizona State Land Department. At the bottom of their website, right here, you can see that they have an address in Phoenix and the number right here, it's 602-542-4631 and just talk to someone there. The only thing you need to do when you are calling the department is to find the lot number. Use the, your TRS number, that'll give you what you need Hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in checking out our adventure and our experience at Arizona State Trust Land, make sure to check the link in the description and at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live life intentionally. Bye, everybody.